right, we're here at Kitchen Eads and my name's Gina. Today we're gonna to be making whole wheat oatmeal honey bread. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So we're first gonna start out with our four cups of boiling water. And just so you know, we're doubling the recipe that's on our blog. And then I'm going to add two cups of rolled oats. And then one cup of brown sugar. Spread that around. And then I'm going to put a half a cup of butter in. Since my water is boiling, it's going to melt in that water. And then I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of real salt. two teaspoons of cinnamon. And of course, we've got to have our honey, so I'll put my honey in right after that. And this is two tablespoons of honey. So I'm going to just get that all mixed in there a little bit and then I'm going to let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we're going to take the lid off and this is what it looks like. Okay, and you can see that the butter is melted. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add the next few ingredients. So that's where we're gonna do our three cups of our white wheat flour. And then we have eight cups of all-purpose flour. Now just remember, our batch is doubled. And that's what's really nice about this mixer is it will hold all of this. Okay, and my final ingredient is gonna be my yeast. And I've got two tablespoons of yeast. All right, and that's where I'm gonna put my lid back on one off and we'll get this mixed together. After mixing your bread for five to seven minutes, then we're going to check to make sure that the gluten's developed. And during this process, I did need to add a little bit more water. So just be aware that you might have to add more water or more flour. So to check the gluten, you're gonna take a little bit in your hand and just kind of spread it out. And what you're checking for is to see if you can get the bread to thin out like a, a little window that you can see through it. If you can get it to break out like a window like this without it falling apart, then that means that your gluten is developed. So it looks like we're ready to move it over onto the counter. All right, so now we have our dough on a greased counter. And so we're just gonna divide this up. And so the pans that we're using today are Norco pans. You can put a pound and a half of dough in them. And so you just need to spray them before beforehand. And we use like a nice food release spray so that that will come out easily. And then we're gonna weigh the dough out so that our loaves are uniform. Because we doubled our recipe, we're gonna get about four large loaves and we might have some extra dough left over for some smaller loaves. So I've got a really nice Escali scale here. And these ones, you can change the, to grams, ounces, pounds on them. And so we're gonna be weighing these out to be a pound and a half, or it could be 24 ounces. And so I'm gonna use my dough divider here. We're just gonna take some of that dough and let me spray the scale off here so that it doesn't stick to my scale as well. 
So then I'm just gonna put my dough right on there and we're gonna weigh that out to be a pound and a half. Almost there, but too much on that one. All right, so a pound and a half for that one. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to shape your loaf so that it can fit into your pan and look like this. So one important thing is what we call crossing the grains. So just, you're just gonna cross it over like this. And when you get it to where it has that nice, smooth texture right there, then you're gonna take the bottom and we're gonna pinch that together and kind of seal that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take our oats and just kinda spread them out like this. And then I'm just gonna roll my oats across that. I'm gonna take my pan, it's been sprayed, so we did that earlier. And then I'm gonna say, we're gonna tuck it into bed. So you're gonna tuck it in on all four sides. You got your bread like that, you can hit it just to get some any air bubbles out. And then we're gonna take these over to the oven and let them rise as our oven warms up to 350 degrees. All right, now we've let our bread rise and you can see that we let it rise to about one inch rim on that. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it in our heated oven at 350 degrees. Our bread cook for 30 minutes and we just took this out of the oven so one of the biggest things you're doing is you're going to turn your bread over you're going to check and make sure you've got that nice golden brown that's how you know that it's done and then we just like to take them out put them on cooling racks and let them cool down and you guys have got your complete product of your honey wheat bread